Welcome back, everybody. Mr. Burgo here playing some more ESO. We're going to do the vet uh, dailies. Get a couple extra keys. Um, um, I didn't stream much today, man. I've been feeling really under the weather. I don't, I don't know what's going on with me, man. I've been getting like the... It's like heat heat waves man i'll start sweating out of nowhere for no reason and then i'll get really really cold and achy and just not been fun man so i'm gonna i'm gonna grab the dailies for today and uh, i wonder if i can grab them from here because i don't want to have to go to deshaun or to uh um, storm haven to grab these um i'd prefer to just do it here um oh goodness gracious Ah, <sighs> oh, should have upgraded my horse. Yes, uh, this morning. I'll just do it now. Can I talk to you to do it? My family runs. This no. Of course not. I have to talk to this guy. There we go. All right. Let's hope I can grab him out here, which I can. Perfect. <laughs> So I, I just prefer to grab it out here. It's a lot easier. Let's see, what's the daily for this? I don't, uh, I don't. I don't have that DLC unlocked, so I can't do that one. Vault of Madness, beautiful. Done this one on vet already. And where's the other person? Oh, right in my face. I'm just blind. Uh. Banish cells. All right. What are you waiting? Banish cells one. Okay, easy peasy. Both of these are gonna be easy peasies. Um, if I do it on veteran, I get two keys, right? So I don't really have to do it on hard mode. Is there a challenge or something for doing it on hard mode? I don't know. Um, let's go up here and make sure we got everything sold and all of our stuff is good to go. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I've just, I've just not been feeling too good. Guys, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. My stomach started hurting, started getting all dizzy, drank a lot of water, laid down, took a nap, went and got the kids. Came back, still filled like shit, took another nap, got up, did the dishes, and then here I am streaming, because I gotta stay awake, otherwise I'm gonna screw up my entire, uh, I'm gonna screw up my entire sleep schedule. Okay, we must have sold everything last night, so let's go ahead and hit activity finder, dungeon finder, let's hit a random dungeon, maybe, no, cancel, damn it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Random veteran dungeon. Okay, well, how long before I can fucking queue up again? Since you want to be a stupid game and... Okay, well, usually you tell me I can't join up for another fucking 25 fucking minutes or whatever it is so can you like at least tell me that here you know what, you know what i'll do i know what it is i know what it is it's because this game is stupid that's what it is it won't let me queue up and it doesn't have a timer on it and it won't let me queue up in the same location so we'll fast travel away and then fast travel back that should allow me to queue Stupid. Oh, that tea is really. <coughs> that tea is really strong. God. Should put more water to it. God damn, that's strong. Mm. All right. Exactly what it was. 
Let's hit a random veteran dungeon. Hopefully it's nothing stupid. Why is it always this dungeon, man? I had a feeling, like, I don't know, something was just telling me that I was going to get Dark Sheet Caverns too. <sighs> and I swear to God, if I get somebody that just can't fucking deal DPS, I'm fucking dipping skis out. Well, that's not a good sign. One of our DPSs is only 200, so... I can't, I can't do guard, I can't do that dungeon with the lack of DPS. It, I, I can do that dungeon with a lack of a healer. Like, I don't need a healer. I mean, they might, they might need a healer for sure. I don't. But with no DPS, we're going to be in that dungeon for fucking three hours, dude. I ain't doing it. <clears throat> I ain't fucking doing it, dude. Is honestly what I was gonna do is I was just gonna run to the the shit that you needed to run to, and get them out of the way. I need a AOE type tank is what I need. That is exactly what I need um, to build. So I think I might start working on a warden tank because um, the wardens have the best uh, set it and forget it type fucking abilities in the game. Hit everything around you at all times, basically. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, cause I got what 20 minutes before I can requeue up for a dungeon, right? Yeah, 12 minutes, whatever. Same shit, different day. Um, yeah. Without the deeps, dude, there's no point in doing engine guardian. All right, then, um... Mm. I want an AoE tank. Something I can just drop down AoEs and then everything in the room starts dying immediately. Tanky as hell doing it. Hmm. Wardens make the most sense because they're all ice damage. Um, but a sorcerer 
wouldn't be bad either. Make it a sorcerer tank wouldn't be a half bad idea. Um, just because they do shock damage, right? Which I know shock damage isn't exactly going to help me out in this situation. But if you throw on liquid lightning and you have on elemental blockade of ice, <clears throat> you're going to end up hitting them with minor brittle. So they're going to take more damage. You're going to hit them with off balance causing your other abilities to do more damage hmm DK's get the tankiness that's nice and all but not needed because you can go a Nord Sorcerer get the same resistances as you would on a Dragonite but you can run a set up and set AoE tanking It does me no good because I can't do the Lair of Marsalok, which is where I need to go for the Azerblight set. Because that's what I want to do. This Azerblight will just blow up everything in the room. Um, let's see. There's some other passives in the Sork skill tree too that uh, will help you out as well. So, yeah, less, less ultimate. Then you can put on a monster set to help you generate ultimate. Also make a new tank here, like Blood Spawn. Or you could run Mighty Chudens. Get that major buff at all times, allowing you to take off um, your Hurricane or Boundless Storm, whatever you're going to use. That'll free up a bunch of abilities, actually. Using Mighty Chudens. You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm going to log out of this character. We're going to take a look at a... Uh... We're going to get on a Sork real quick. And, uh... Yeah. We're going to get on a Sork and take a look at their, uh... Their passives real fast because I, 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 if I do a warden I'm gonna do an ice you know an ice devastator where a hundred percent brittle all the fucking time on enemies or something like that something stupid right um, if I do if I do a sorcerer though I'm gonna get them set off balance a lot faster which is gonna benefit the team basically Minor Brittle benefits the team, too. But if I can get both of those popping off, you know what I mean? It's like, watch. Let's go to the skills real quick. Dark Magic, reduce the health of your non-core combat abilities. Nice, cute, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, after blocking an attack, your next health, magic, or stamina ability costs less, so that actually helps out quite a bit. Dark magic ability, you gain minor prophecy to the group, increasing your spell critical rating. Wow, look at that. Helping the team buff up. Uh, when you, you restore 150 magic or stamina when one of your non- ultimate daedric summoning abilities end the resource returned is directly or is dictated by the abilities cost so again good i mean if you're running maybe like conjure water bound armor it's good i guess because you get magic back i guess or i don't know if that's actually good or not actually this kind of needs a rework this this seems kind of useless in in all honesty, 300 Magicka and Stamina when one of your non-ultimate Daedric summoning abilities ends is kind of useless for anything other than a PvP character. Because, yeah, you got Haunting Curse. But that takes, what, 12 seconds to end? Yeah, 12 seconds to end there. And in 12 seconds, you're literally going to just burn through all your mag. That 300 extra shit you get back is kind of useless. 
Like this. This costs 3000 3000 That's cheap, but you only need to cast it every 12 seconds. But you got other abilities that you're casting, like this guy, this guy. So, I mean, this front bar, literally, you could sustain yourself forever with this front bar. One heavy attack will get you back up to full. So, again, waste of points, really, there. Reduce the cost of your ultimate. Good. Uh, increase your health and stamina recovery by 20% while you have a Daedric summoning ability slotted. And if you run bound armor, right, while well slotted, your max magic is increased by 6%. So that's good. Daedric mail that increases your block mitigation by 33 for 3 seconds and minor protection for 10 seconds, reducing your damage taken. So that's... That's nice. Not exactly the best, because it only lasts for 3 seconds. You gotta do that shit right on a power hit that's coming or something. Now, expert summoner, increase your max health by 4% while you have a Daedric summoning ability active on yourself. Meaning, the only way this is going to benefit you is if you have a pet out. Or, or, found armor. But, you're going to get that for such a brief, freaking second duration. That's not even worth. Like, this, this skill tree needs to get... A big rework if you're going to do any kind of tanking with Daedric Summoning. Daedric Summoning, 100% PvP. Dark Exchange, you got Rune Prison, you got Encase. These are all good for trapping enemies. Um, Daedric Mine is an AoE. And then you got Lightning Flood, which you can morph to the other one to give you bigger duration or a uh, bigger range and duration. <laughs> Which would be nice. Unstable wall. And then... Oh, Grants you minor force, increasing your critical damage by 10%. For the duration, pretty good, pretty schnazzy. I mean, it's, it's all good and everything, but... Mm. Let me think. Let me think. You won't need Boundless Storm. You run Surge, but I would keep it on, honestly. Honestly, I don't think the Lightning... Uh, I don't think... Uh, a Sork is going to cut it for a tank. I mean, you can. Don't get me wrong. You can tank with a Sork. But I don't think it's going to work out the way I want it to work out. The way I imagine it should work out. So I'm going to have to stick with the... I'm going to have to stick with the lower... Or a, a Warden. Or... I don't like... I don't like Necromancers. Like, where they're at right now, I just... I don't like them. Their abilities are... Boo boo tier at best. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate hate in the comments for that, but in my opinion, they're they're just in a really bad spot. Like they could do decent damage as a magic and necromancer in dungeons, but nine times out of ten people are running sorks because sorks are using um unbalance with their lightning stabs and they're just fucking shredding shit with lots of AoE damage. And then they got great single target burst. Um, um, I don't know. We can make one more character. I don't want to make another. You know what? I think I'm going to make another. Uh, no, I don't want to make a Templar. Ah. Uh, this guy's going to be a tank. One way or another, he's going to be a good tank. A decent tank, anyway. Um, this is a PvP guy. This is going to be a PV, PvE tank. This is going to be a PvP guy. PvP guy. DPS. Should make another DPS. Hmm. And I don't want to take a time leveling up another fucking... 
orc or a dragon eye. So it's gonna be either a Templar. You know what I think I'm going to do? On this guy, I'm going to make him a magic. Yeah, I'm going to make him a magic dealer. Damage dealer. Because then I got, all, I got the extra health bonus and the stamina bonus and the weapon and spell damage from his passives. Pretty solid. Um... Hmm... <laughs> All right, let's see what we could do. Um, the race, I would like to make an Imperial, but I don't have the upgrade for it. What are we going to do here? What is... Uh, giving bonuses to healing down restoration saves, disease and poison resistance, resource gain from consuming potions, swimming, speed plus base health, magicka, and stamina. That sound pretty strong. Uh, dual wielding, flame and lava resistance, uh, uh, weapon spell damage, base magic, and stamina. These, yeah, that's kind of weak compared to the Argonian. Uh, two handed weapon use, duration of effects for drinks, and physical spell and frost resistance. That's actually the best tank class. Ultimate generation, as well as base health and stamina. Yeah, that's pretty fucking strong for a tank. Um, Red Guard gives base stamina, stamina recovery, movement, and duration of food. They're, okay, they're kind of weak. Uh, heavy armor, sprinting, weapon and spell damage, inspiration gain, as well as base health and stamina. Okay, they're pretty good. These get cost reduction. Alright, high elves get base magic experience gain. Spell damage and resource recovery. It's cute. Uh, improved archery, base stamina, stamina recovery, stealth detection, movement speed, reduce fall damage, and poison and disease. Disease make them. So they get both base stamina and stamina recovery, and then they get reduce fall damage and poison. This is a PvP character, through and through, straight up. Um, pickpocketing, stealth, resource recovery, as well as base health, magic, and stamina. These bonuses help them thrive in many adventurous lives. They're kind of lacking. It looks like in their yeah, their their shit's lacking. Wood Elf is probably the best PvP class in this game. Just reading their thing, best tank class, Nord Argonian is probably going to be your best bet if you are. If you're a new player, I'd say you play Argonian because you get their passives. Their passives are disgusting, help you maintain and balance your resources a lot better. I'd, I'd say picking Argo Argonian for any of these classes would be a really strong start um, to this gameplay style. What is a... Uh, well, I can't look at what they give, but... This is the best for tanking. Now let's find out what the best class is for the DPS. In my in my personal opinion, it's going to be either the orc because they get weapon and spell damage. They also get really good base health and stamina. So if you go straight magic with these guys, you're going to get the bonuses from the other stuff and then you can literally just put all your points into magicka and fry things. Uh, Breton is good. Magicka recovery is nice, but you're going to be super fucking squishy. At least with an orc, ma uh, with an orc, like this guy. If I go magic with him, 